Welcome back to another awesome video. So today we got a Sony STR DE845. This is, I think, been stored in an attic. Somebody gave it to me. And we got a couple problems. The main problem is no sound, but the, the buttons also aren't very sensitive. Like the power button took a couple of presses to come on. Don't hear the secondary click of the speaker. If I turn it off, I hear a click, but anyway, so the speaker relay may not be kicking in, but it acts like everything's normal, like it should be working, but no sound from the speakers here. So the first thing I wanna do is see if the preamp's working. And to do that, I'll just hook some powered speakers up to the line output. So these are regular speakers hooked up to the speaker input. They don't work. All right, so that works. So using some powered computer speakers, I can verify the tuner is working and the preamp's working. Speaker, the traditional speakers are just not working. Again, that was very easily done by taking this computer speaker and just running it through a splitter to audio cables. Another interesting data point with this receiver is the headphone amplifier actually works. So if I plug headphones into this headphone socket, it works. So with the preamp working, the headphones working, hopefully it's just a loose connection or something like that. Another interesting thing over here, like tuning, doesn't work. I had to use the remote control to actually tune a station. So it looks like the speaker wires come in through the connectors here. They go to this board and then they go down thick wires to these relays. I tried using a non-conductive pencil, of course, to thump the relays. There's some more relays over here. Nothing. So may need to uh, take it apart a little bit further and start seeing if there's a connection from the speaker wire back to the relay. And Okay, so I took the bottom off and I followed my speaker wire all the way back down to one of these relays. And I can see, where, which one was it? This, right here. It's getting to, this is a, re, a switch right here. It's getting to one side, but not the other with it off. So really I need to see if the relay clicks in and closes those two, and if so, it's either the relay or whatever's driving the relay, not causing it to happen. And now the receiver is on, and we're gonna check the continuity between these two pins. Mark that with that pink piece of paper. And there's no continuity, so the relay is not closing these. If I switch over to voltage, let's see if I can get any voltage. Those, those are the switch pins. These I'm assuming would be the, I don't see any voltage on there. So maybe the relays, whatever tells the relay to close is not telling it to close. So before going any further, I began to do some Googling, which I probably should have done initially, but found a couple of forum posts saying after leaving these things in storage, they found some cold solder joints. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see on this camera, but I can actually see some, some break in the solder, which explains why the power button it's hard to press. So I'm gonna to try to resolder all those. So first thing I'm gonna do is try to fix all those obvious problems and then see if that does anything. It's like a hairline crack you can barely see there. Okay, so we sort of got it slapped back together. Let's plug it in and see what happens. All right. I'll power it on. That's it. Thanks, Paul Abdul. Looks like it's working. In the end, the internet was right. Common failure with these things is a, there's a board over here that has the power switch and the speaker AB switch. And there's a bad solder joint between this board and the main board. That's so easy. Wow. Well, I'm gonna clean this up, put it back together and give it away to somebody who maybe could use it in their garage or whatever. and. End of story on the Sony STR DE845. Thanks for watching. See you next time for another awesome video.